So today we're going to talk about the blue hippo tang, what happened to them, and how I decided to fix them. Stay tuned. What's going on today, YouTube? It's Rob here for Cue Balls Reef. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave me any comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. So I'm just gonna do a video here on my blue hippo tang. Now I've had this guy for about three months and as you'll see in the video, he had a little mishap. Uh, him and my lavender tang downstairs in the 180 gallon tank, well they, got into a little tussle. Uh, the lavender tang was chasing the hippo tang around and things didn't end well. Uh, he ended up with a pretty large gash on his right side. You can't really see it right now because he's facing the wrong way. Get out of there. Trying to get a good shot of it because uh, it's completely healed over. It's been about uh, three weeks since the incident and he is showing no ill signs and the wound has completely healed on its own without any problems and you'll see in the video what I did uh, I did use some additives that I picked up from Petco and it might have done the trick I can't say for sure but it certainly didn't help, it hurt and it did not affect any of my livestock here in my 30 gallon softy tank. So, will not complain about the product. Uh, can't say that it was the main reason that the hippo recovered, but it didn't hurt him. So, anyway, check out the video. Leave me any comments below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and if you like what you see go ahead and give me a subscription <laughs> always looking for new subscribers anyway yeah check it out so I actually prefer to do my fishing at night because you can really catch these guys off guard Because they're sleeping and they don't know what's going on. And it's easier. And voila. So you can see the nasty cut that he took on his side. This seems like a pretty nasty wound. I hope that he recovers from this. I'm gonna put him in a tank. Oh, oh, don't, don't get stressed. We're gonna put him in a tank with less aggressive fish and hopefully he will heal up on his own. So unfortunately for that blue hippo, I do have another tang in here. He's a much larger tang. He's a lavender tang. Can't find him right now. He's in whatever little hidey hole he likes to go to for the night. I'm not sure where he hangs out at night. There's my Niger trigger in there. Not in there. So, somewhere in there, he's got his own little hidey hole. But, over in my hospital tank here, is my yellow tank. Now this guy, I call him Commissioner Gordon, because he oversees everything in the main tank. And ever since I took him out, 
the lavender tang has been just going nuts. He is super aggressive when he swims around the tank, chasing all the fish. But lately, he's really been chasing that blue hippo tang. And he got him pinned up into a corner. And I'm pretty sure that the hippo tang went into my magnet scraper there. Or the scalpel on the lavender tang cut him. Either way, he's got that nasty gash. So I'm gonna take him out of this tank and I put him in my 30 gallon tank upstairs and hopefully with no aggressive fish in there, he's gonna recover. So that's what we're hoping for at least. I love seeing the reef at night. All the little critters are out. Look at all these snails. Just doing work. Got some on the glass. Got lots in the sand bed. And they are going to town. Got them all over there too. Everywhere. Gotta love it. Do your thing, magic snails. Bunch on the back there. Oh, I gotta clean my glass. Filthy, filthy. It's nice to see where everybody sleeps at night. Love to know where that lavender tang hangs out because I just don't see him anywhere. He's got something. You know? There's my lawnmower blenny. Well, wherever he is, he's hiding well. So anyway, yeah, just wanted to shoot a little night video. Um, anytime I have to catch fish, I always come down at night when they're sleeping and kind of ambush them and they have no idea what's happening. So, oh, there he is. Gotcha. So that's the culprit. Can't really see him all that well, but got that eyeball looking at us right there. Found you. So he is on a timeout. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, he's he's the guy who did the damage, um, either by chasing the blue hippo or um, my flipper got him on the metal edge there I'm not sure which but either way he's out of the tank and hopefully that wound will heal up because that fish is one of my favorites hopefully once I get my big yellow tang back in here and out of the hypo salinity um, he's gonna calm down I hope so. And then once the blue hippo heals up, we'll get him back down in here into the main tank because he certainly can't stay in a 30 gallon. I mean, right now he's small enough. He could stay up in that 30 gallon for quite some time. But as I've read and heard, blue hippos grow pretty fast. So, which would be okay because if he grows, then he'll be able to defend himself. I'm not sure why all of a sudden that lavender tang decided to get all aggressive, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it, make sure that he doesn't get aggressive with the other fish that are in here. These fish have all been together for months. Uh, they came from the 72 gallon tank and yeah, like I said, I, I'm not sure why he decided to suddenly get aggressive, but it happens. So now we got to make sure that the blue hippo heals up and comes back to life. Checking out my zoas there to make sure I don't have any critters because these zoas up front, they haven't been happy lately. Not sure why. Anyway, yeah, just a little fishing expedition and 
So here we are. It's been 48 hours since I moved the blue hippo tang into a smaller tank with no aggressive fish. And other than being a little shy now, he's doing all right. He is swimming. He is eating like a champ. And he's not getting bullied by my lavender tang. But unfortunately, right now, he's hiding. There he comes. So it's kind of hard to get him to sit still, but the wound itself looks okay. He's not bleeding, not showing any signs of distress, which is always a good sign. So we've, we're at about the 48 hour mark and he seems to be doing okay. I started dosing this Artemis, which is supposed to help with uh, bacterial infections, fin rot, stuff like that. I figured, well, that's worth a shot since he does have an open wound. But I figured I should get him out of that tank, get him into a tank that has no aggressive fish in it, and let him just kind of heal up on his own. Like I said, it's a great sign that he is eating and swimming and just not showing any signs of distress. So the battle wages on. We're going to keep our eye on him or not because he's hiding. He likes to hide back here underneath this rock. I see you. Not you. There, he's kicking up some sand back there. But anyway, we'll keep an eye on him. Keep this update going.